In this video, I'm going to talk about our network failover or high availability solution, which is a component of our cloud load balancing suite. I'm going to go ahead and log into our account here. And then we're going to head over to the networking section. And on our configuration builder, I'm going to go ahead and expand the web server farm. Now this is a standard load balancing situation here. What I've got is a default server group. Click on manage and I can see that I have two web servers in there. Now the way that these are currently set up is uh, for even distribution of traffic. You can go back to the main page here and look at the load balancing configuration to see how I have it set up. So I've got this profile set to uh, distribute traffic between those two servers using the least connection method. And because all traffic proxies through our network, we know exactly how many connections are being sent to each server, so it'll distribute the load very evenly. There are other options that we provide here, but I'm not going to cover those in this video. All right, so back to my default server group. Again, I have two web servers here. They're both online and available. So in theory, these servers are receiving traffic evenly. But a common configuration that clients want is to have an active passive setup where web server one receives all of the traffic all of the time and only when it goes down do they want web server two to receive the traffic so that's pretty easy to do and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now first I'm gonna remove web server two from the load balancing profile here so all traffic is going to web server one right now down here in the failover groups I'm gonna click add new and I'm just gonna call this failover group number one and call it whatever you want and you'll see that it creates the failover group here. It has a, an, a condition that it wants uh, to draw your attention to and that there are no servers in here. So I'm going to click Manage. And now what I can do is I can go to the left here and grab my web server 2 and just drop it in here. And now I've got web server number 2 in my failover group. Let's go back here and take a quick peek. My default server group. Okay, now you can see exactly how it works. Web server 1 will receive all of the traffic all of the time unless it goes down. When it goes down, failover group number one will receive all the traffic and in that group I've got web server number two. That's it. It's pretty simple. Now, we can take it one step further though. You could still have an active active with passive failover set up. For example, I could drag my web server three here and if it were online, traffic would be load balanced between these two servers and then it would fail over here. Or what I can do is I can even have a uh, tertiary configuration. Let me delete web server number three. And I can add another failover group. Failover group two. Click save. I'll go manage it. And then what I'll do is I'll drag web server number three in here. And again, only if it were online would this work. But you'll, you'll understand the concept here. Right now, all traffic goes to web server number one. When web server number one goes down, it goes to failover group number one. And if failover group number one goes down, it goes to failover group number two. And I can change the priority of these failover groups just by moving them up or down here with these links. So uh, that's it. Pretty simple. Don't forget to assign your ports and publish your pack, and you're off.